Okay, this is your Brighton 310 or 330. This is a 330. And I'm going to show you how to calibrate your power meter. So you want to go to cycling. You press this, this back button. Take it to the home page. Now, if you are during a mid-ride, you want to stop your ride, pause your ride, stop it, and then come back here. So press that one. So you'll be, you be out here. So you're going to stop it, come back to here. Scroll down. Show it too much glare for you. And we're going to go to settings. We're just going past it. Train and test. That's not testosterone. That's just testing. Settings. Go down to sensors. Go down to power. This went too fast. I've got too much power here. And then boom. I've already calibrated this before. It's my stages power meter. And the giant Defy Roubaix bike. That's the Delcom Cobb's Roubaix bike actually. And we're going to go more. And we always have the stages power meter 6 o'clock facing China down the ground. And we're going to go, we've done a scan, we're going to calibrate. And it's calibrating. Might take a while because I have had this dormant. Let's just wake it up. And I'll start again. But that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And it will calibrate, so just calibrate, there we go. But that's very fast, faster than the Garmin, typically. It, this little Brighton, if you do have any issues with it, just reset the motherfucker, all right? You hold down all three buttons for like a couple seconds, I'll show you. All three, like a threesome, watch this. Let it go. And you're holding down a little longer. If it's ever glitching on you, just reset this motherfucker. There you go, so we have to do reset it. And it's a fast unit, man, so I would definitely rate it. Use it today. The more I use it, the more I get the hang of it. 36 hour battery life. And I'll show you how I do that. Actually, that's another video. But I'll show you anyway for these people who want to get a bit of heads up on that. So settings. Um, network. Altitude. No. That's the Wi-Fi stuff. So yeah, it's pretty basic. Just scrolling here with the right button. General. Here we go. GPS. So I got a power save. So if you got it on, if you have it on the other one, full power, it's about 24 hour battery life, off, Strava, it went like that. And um, so there we want to have it on the uh, power save. Power save, boom. 36 hours, baby. And keep your Bluetooth off as well if you want to save juice. Or scrolling, file save, you know, all this stuff. I don't even know what much this stuff means, but... Uh, yeah, so far so good this little unit. But that's how you calibrate your Brighton with your, uh, your stages. Just, you know, and the buttons feel more durable. And uh, yeah, I haven't had much any negative feedback on the 330. If you've got a 330, has it been shit or legit? Let me know. It's really lightweight and uh, just charges with that. It's great, man. I don't have to worry about your batteries on the flat like uh, Garmin's used to. Actually, I saved myself more than that because I had to put these on as well. Save myself 20 bucks, 30 bucks. Well, you save yourself 50 bucks in uh, 15 minutes of work.